and lady from Penguin Random House Vintage Books contacted me, asked me if I wanted a copy. I said, of course, and sent me this awesome tote bag. I am so excited. Books for the Run Right Read Book Club for August. This is the second book that we're going to be reading from Grenada. Operation Desert Run. Like the veggie chips but these are sweet how is it you like it i think we have a winner hi friends welcome back to my channel so one of the things that i'm intending to do in the second half of the year because today is the start of the second half of 2021 one of the things that i intend to do on my channel is to do more of sharing my life <laughs> I guess that's what you're supposed to do with YouTube right say hi so my YouTube channel has been inconsistent at best and every time I talk about this I say it acknowledging where we are so we can use it as a place to move forward but the last year and a half um, have been a little challenging there have been a lot of changes in my life um, the last two years I got married moved and started a family and although I'm home more I have more time to be at home I also just have a lot more responsibilities I have a lot more things kind of pulling on my schedule so I'm not always able to plan exactly what I'm gonna do my reading I've tried to continue reading as much as I used to I don't know if that actually happens I uh, sacrifice a lot of sleep in order to read just because reading is my is my leisure activity but in terms of making videos I just haven't been as good at doing that and planning videos and executing those plans um, as I'd like to but what I'd like to do as we're moving forward into the second half of 2021 like I said my daughter's getting a little bit older she's getting more independent um, I can probably do a little bit more of the things that I say I want to do um, when I say I want to do them. So one of the things that we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing more vlogs. I love watching vlogs. I love watching mommy channels. I love seeing children as they're going on YouTube. Um, I take a lot of videos of my daughter. Um, when I was growing up, there weren't a lot of, there was, there just, there just wasn't a lot of video and there weren't that many pictures either. 
I would have loved to have seen more of my childhood documented and it's something that I'd love to give my daughter as she's growing up. I'd like to have a record of her of her wins. I'd like to have a record of things that I could show her. I'd like to show her reading at her age. I'd like to document the things that she loves to do, what she is actually doing. So when she gets older, we can all look back at it. So keep shifting the camera angles because um, I'm trying to find the best one. Right now we're in the Home Depot parking lot. I'm waiting on my husband. He went inside to get some things to repair the pipe. Um, under our bathroom sink one of the things that has just happened so yeah um i was saying i love to watch mommy videos i love to watch mommy and me channels i like to see how other people are doing things as i'm learning how to be a better mom and wife <laughs> as i'm learning how to do some of the things that i've never done before um learning from other people's trial and error and Thank you, one kid. <laughs> um, I'd also like to share what I've been learning. So, long intro to say, more vlogs are going to be on my channel. I'd love to make a vlog every day this month. Oh, I'm not sure if I'll post a video every day this month, but I'll vlog every day this month just to kind of get into sharing more. How about you eat that one and give me a bigger one that you can feed me with? You eat that one. So in this vlog, I'm going to share a little bit of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'll also talk about my reading because this is my reading channel. Yeah. So I'm thinking about renaming my video, renaming my channel Run Right Reads and Family. Run Right Reads Life, Lifestyle. Yeah. To kind of encompass all the other yeah. things that are going to be in these videos. But I feel like that's unnecessary just because I've been sharing them with you for a while now so i'll leave it i'll leave the channel name as it is and just yeah. focus on the content focus on building the content so <laughs> in this video you're going to see what we got up to today or what we get up to today what we've gotten up to already <laughs> and what we'll get up to for the rest of the day and yeah. Hopefully you give me some feedback. Let me know what resonates with you, what you love to see. Hopefully you give me some feedback. Let me know what resonates with you, what you liked watching, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. I can't promise you that what you want to see less of, I'll show less of just because that may be most of what's going on. But I'll try to take, but I'll try to respect your feedback and give you more of what you want so let's chat in the comments let me know what you like about this vlog what you like seeing <laughs> and what we get up to um hopefully my entire vlog is not just going to be us at home gardening and reading um, as our main activities in july we have a lot planned so i'd love to take you guys along with us and show you some of what we do um, some of the memories that we're making with our daughter, um, some of the memories that we're making as a couple, my husband and I. He doesn't like to be on video. That's the only challenge with um, filming. He doesn't love social media. Um, when we just, when we first got together, we made a video together and he said that he'd do more of those with me, but he doesn't love social media. And I want to respect that because of his job. He's a teacher. He doesn't really want to put a lot out there like to, compromise his standing with his students and I respect that completely so I want to be sure that when I'm showing him I show him in the best possible way that I'm not doing anything that would be in any way embarrassing to him so you know even though some of the things that we might do would be funny um, I want to respect his position on that so that's the only challenge so you might not see much of him in these videos it will be mostly me and the kiddo but uh we'll take you along with us as we do what we as we go where we go and i'll show you what we can so thank you so much for watching this video give us a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you want to see more you don't have to wait until the end of the video to do that i'm not sure why we only do that why we only say that at the end but yeah 
give me a thumbs up it really supports my channel when you interact with my videos share these videos if you think there's someone else who would like to meet us and see what we're up to we're going to be reading oh i'll show you what i'm reading these have been in the car since yesterday so you know i didn't do much with them yesterday i am reading okay here's your book this is my journal but she writes in it as well and i'm reading two books right now i have a buddy read uh, going with laura uh, her name's laura brahman on instagram and she's active here on youtube as well we're reading together segu by marie sconde marie sconde is a guadalupian writer and this novel is set in a fictional kingdom of segu in africa that's a little bit different from what I've read from Marie Conde before, so I'm enjoying how she is writing about this. I'm getting some Things Fall Apart by Shinwa Achebe. I'm getting some vibes like that. I'm also reading Crime and Punishment, Dostoevsky, Fyodor Dostoevsky. This is another buddy read with Columbus here on YouTube. He doesn't have a channel, but he comments on YouTube. And another lady, a lady named Rosalie and... Um, we have a buddy read going for those two books i'm also hoping to start today one of the books that i got recently um the mermaid of black conch by monique coffee and yeah so i'll show you what we're reading and we'll talk about it so for now stay tuned for more you have a jam session hey girl genius I'm gonna have a little jam session. You dead, sis? That's the bop. What's that dance called? Hmm? That's the bop. You DJ? Hmm? Bro genius. You DJ? Who's that? That's a car. You see somebody that you know? You see Dada? Okay. So garden update. We got tomatoes. Tomatoes. We got big tomatoes. We got cherry tomatoes. We got some red romaine back there. Uh, we planted the peppers a little bit close. We're a little bit too close to the tomato, but that's okay. We got parsley. And that's another pepper. No, that's a basil back there. And the zucchini. <gasps> Look at the zucchini. This is so exciting. Some strawberries. A little weeding right here. Yeah, look at the strawberries. We got some beans, some string beans. Ah, ah. We could almost have, have this for dinner in the floral garden. <laughs> we have some zinnias that are coming out. Yay! Look at all the seeds! Look! Look at the seeds, they all burst out. I mean, this is amazing. Some of the seeds are not even buried yet. Yeah. Because when I watered them, they just came back up. Yeah. So yeah. look how look how some of them have burst up, and the rest of them are just the seeds. That's that's the bees. The bees are working. The bees are working. Bees are making honey. Bees are mulching. So now the plants look a lot better against this background. I'm not done because I just got to do some weeding. Draw a picture. <laughs> Nicely done. Good job. <laughs> so I just had to take a picture for Instagram because I'm doing, I'm participating in a blog tour for a book and the book is this one i haven't read it yet but i decided to take a picture in this outfit kind of trying to mirror the cover of the book so just want to close out the vlog and give you a short reading update like i said i'm reading two books 
So I'm reading Segu by Mary Sconde and this one I'm not very far in. I'm only at about page 80 or so. And we're reading about uh, African man and his family. He's a polygamist. So we're reading about two of his wives, how they relate to each other. One is from his tribe and one who was um, taken into his community because of some enslavement, some capturing that went on and she caught his eye and so she became his wife. And so we see how the women treat each other. We're also seeing, hi, we're also seeing how his sons relate to him, how he treats them differently based on who their mothers are. So we're learning a little bit about the family. Um, he gets summoned to a meeting and we're seeing how the other people in his tribe um, view him. So it's really interesting how Conde is using these um, relationships to kind of tell us about life and this culture. And it's fictional, of course. I'm also reading Dost... I'm also reading Dostoevsky's... <laughs> I know you want to see her. I'm reading Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. And that's really interesting. It's set in, you know, Russia, Russia at some time and place and I don't recall now exactly when it's set but it's really interesting how this author is explaining about our different psychologies and our different philosophies um, about crime and and so on we have this young man who's in his mid-20s and he's committed this really heinous crime and we're seeing some of his motivations like he is struggling financially because he has had to drop out of school because of money and you think about what he could do if he had the money, how he could go back to school and um, provide for his mother and his sister. And we have his sister who's willing to sacrifice herself, like marry someone who she doesn't love and who doesn't seem to be a nice guy because they want to help this guy. And so, you know, we see his motivations for committing the crime, but we also see how he is punishing himself because of it. We're seeing how society is set up to punish him and we're also being treated to some of his um, philosophizing about what people in society should be able to commit crimes and so on really interesting I you know I like how the author is using these different characters to give us these various perspectives and it's really interesting so I'm at about page 280 in this one so maybe around halfway and have a lot to go in this one so this will appear in probably many more of these vlogs and yeah you'll hear more about these books as we go on and I just finished doing a photo on Instagram for this book so that's why I'm dressed like this and I'll insert the picture here that I posted on Instagram to promote that book on a vlog tour so yeah that's how we're gonna wrap up this vlog thank you so much for watching I hope you found something here that you enjoyed and a reason to stick around if you're new to my channel so subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and until next time happy reading bye